Buttonholes for knit fabric always puts the fear of dread into not even beginner sewists but often um, experienced sewists as well. So there's a couple of things you can think about when you want to sew a buttonhole in a stretch knit fabric. So the first thing is I always find is make sure you sew a test buttonhole on a woven fabric before you begin. Now this is to measure the length. There is method behind this so make sure you know the length of your buttonhole. Now knit fabric whether it's really stretchy or not so stretchy often what can happen is the underside will get caught on the feed dogs and that's where a lot of people um, the, the buttonholes will get ruined. So what you can do before you begin is just take two layers of the fabric you're working with, the knit fabric, and sew a test buttonhole and see how it goes. If you have no problems, that's great. If you have problems, now, the first thing I'm going to suggest is this. Now this is Tearaway Stabilizer, and you need to get it in a colour that's near enough to match with the fabric. Now pretty much this only comes in black and white, it's for mainly for embroidery machines. Um, what it is, is it's a um, it's, it's a paper, it's like a very heavy tissue paper. So what you can do is put that on the bottom and put what you are going to, uh, the fabric that you're going to buttonhole on top. So that will stop any of the knit fabric being pulled down into the feed dogs. So try a buttonhole with that first. Generally there's not a problem with the upper, it tends to be the lower that you have an issue with. If you have an issue with that, the next step is to put the tearaway stabilizer, stabilizer both on the bottom and the top. So you're sandwiching it like that. Clearly you wouldn't fold it, you'd have two pieces. Oh, I suppose you could fold it if you wanted to. And try a buttonhole like that. So this is the best product you can use because it literally just tears away and anything left will get um, washed away in the wash the, when you launder the garment. Um, you can also get wash away stabiliser if you prefer that. That is um, more like a plastic. I believe it's a cellulose fibre. So give that a go. Now if because of COVID or whatever you can't get access to this sort of tear away embroidery stabiliser and it's literally tear away. I can suggest that you use good old tissue, so either wrapping tissue that you use for presents or you could just use tissue paper, um, a stronger tissue paper, you know like out of a tissue box if you have a cold. Make sure you use the heavier, heavier though. If you're absolutely desperate and you have nothing else you can just use brown craft paper. Um, brown craft paper will work but what will happen is that your needle will blunten because it's going, it's just like cutting paper with scissors. Your needle will blunt and um, there'll be little bits of the um, craft paper left behind that you'll be forever picking out. Now you can pick them out, it just takes a while, you can sort of scratch them out with a fingernail, but only if you're desperate. So try this before you go too much further. Now the reason I said um, so a test on woven fabric before you begin is pretty much just for the placement. That will help you identify where to start your buttonhole from. So this is the sort of craft paper I'm talking about. You could pop that in behind like that. When you have a machine like mine and you set it onto buttonhole, depending on the machine, my button hole starts at the front and goes backwards. So that's why you need to sew a test button hole just to make sure you know exactly where the placement is. So if you have your position you can get a better idea of where to start and where to stop. So you can mark the start with a pin or um, some tailor's chalk is often really good and that will just help guide your buttonhole into place. Alright, so I have marked my buttonhole positions here already with Taylor's chalk and I'm just going to, this buttonhole goes this way and this buttonhole goes this way 
So I'm just going to find the centre part here, I've placed it all, and I will get stitching. Now this is a one step buttonhole, I could push the automatic, but I actually like to use the foot pedal just to control the thread. There we have a perfect buttonhole and all I need to do now is tear away the stabiliser, trim the stray threads and I'll go ahead and um, open that buttonhole in a minute. Thanks for joining me, I hope you found this useful. If you like what you see don't forget the, to hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you again soon.